Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design the carburetor body in cryoparametric. So let's get started. So this is the carburetor body and if you see all around, it looks like this. And if you see the section view, it looks like this. So this is the front section and if I go with this section, this is the left section So this is the part and if you see the drawing in full screen, it looks like this. Now here if you see some of the dimensions like this dimension G1 by 8 or this dimension G3 by 4 or this dimension G1 by 16, these are the British standard pipe thread. So to get these details, we will follow this PDF. So here all the sizes are listed and based on these sizes, major dia and minor dia listed. So we will take all the details from this PDF. Now these are the British standard parallel thread and if you go down, you have British standard pipe tapered. So these are the taper thread and this PDF you can download from this website. So we will take all the details from here. Now coming back to this part. As usual, first you study your drawing carefully, plan your work, always go with add material features first and then you go for remove material feature. Now let's start the part and for this go to new, part, solid, assign the proper name, uncheck use default template and say ok. Now from here you select the proper part template. So I will go with millimeter Newton second part solid, this is a metric template and I will say ok. Now if you see this drawing, there are two major areas, this is the first area and this is the second area and the gap between this center axis to this center axis is 85. So I will begin with a datum plane. I will use right datum plane as a reference, I will move it to this side and this value I will consider as 85. Now I will change the name of this datum plane, so I will take name as D85 and I will say ok. Now I will start with this portion and this is a revolve feature, so I will directly go to revolve onto the front datum plane, normal switch of the datums. Now first you place a datum center line because it is a revolve feature just like this. Now this center I will fix it somewhere here. So I will draw my sketch accordingly. So I will start my sketch from here. So I will draw a line first starting from here this side. Now this gap is given here dia 16. So this is dia 16. Now I will start from here, I will go down like this and then this side. Now if you see this drawing, from here till here this is 14 and from here till the center axis this is 30. So go to dimension and select this line with this line place here, this is 14 and from here till here this is 30. Now if you see this dimension, this is dia 24 and if you see this dimension, this is the inner dia, dia 68. Now draw the rough sketch. Start from here, go up like this, come this side, come down, then this side, then come down, then go like this, come down, 
avoid equal constant then go taper then come down then come here close the sketch avoid this equal constant now to modify these dimensions first you place all the respective dimension one by one so this is a dimension i need this dimension i need this is needed then this is needed then here i have one equal constant i'll simply delete it then i will add dimension from here till here this is needed then this dimension is needed then this dimension is needed then this is the angle i need so these are the dimensions we need now simply go for modify and start selecting all the dimensions one by one don't miss any dimension you simply add all the dimensions just like this uncheck regenerate drag it down and start modifying all the dimensions from here so this dimension is dia 86 make it 86 then this is dia 80 then this is 8 this is 125 this is 6 this is also 6 this is 20 this is g3 by 4 so measure dia is 26.441 now this is dia 16 this is 30 degree this is the inner dia 68 so leave it next is 24 which is correct 16 is also correct 14 is also correct and this 30 is also correct so everything is done now i'll simply say okay Now this dimension is wrong so i'll delete it and this is from here till this bottom this is 80 and now say okay and okay now avoid all the rounds within the sketch rounds will put at the end of the part so this portion is done now this portion and for this first you switch on all the datum first and draw one sketch on to the front datum plane take the reference to this datum plane and switch of the datums now start a line starting from here come down then go this side now this is 125 and this is 33 say okay so this sketch i will use to create a sweep feature so go to the sweep select this sketch sketch draw circle the die is 44 Say okay. And say okay. So I am creating all add material features first, and then I'll go for remove material feature. Now the next feature will be this portion, which is shown somewhere here. So for this, I'll select this datum plane, and I'll go to extrude. Normal. I'll go to sketch setup and here I'll simply flip it and say sketch. Now let's draw this profile. So I'll start with a circle. I'll draw one small circle. 
just like this another dimension so this is 24 and this is radius 8 so add the radius dimension now i'll add one center line somewhere here then add the line start from here go up like this then this side then this side then this side mirror it using this reference then go for delete segment and remove this segment and this segment now you have one dimension somewhere here 9 from this center to this step so from this step to this center this is 9 then this gap this is given here 8 thickness so make it 8 and save ok now this is 18 this side and then you go to options second side and here you make it to next say ok now the next feature is this portion and for that go to extrude select this top surface normal now go to the reference select this reference draw a center line somewhere here then the circle draw like this one more circle draw somewhere here now mirror this circle with this reference now you go for tangent line use this one select this circle with this then this with this then this with this and then this with this then go for delete segment and delete all unwanted segment just like this now the dimension so this is radius 26 which is given here and this is radius 12 now the gap between this center to this center this is 76 and say ok this thickness is 12 flip the direction and say ok Now the next feature is this feature and for that go to extrude onto the front datum plane normal. Go for reference, select this reference, draw a circle. Now the outer die is 10, say ok. Make it symmetry and then the total value is 52 uncheck remove material and say ok similarly this feature and for this select d85 and go for extrude draw the circle now this is dia 12 and this value is 23 say ok now the depth is given from here 8 that means 8 plus 16 which is 24 uncheck remove material and say ok So all the add material features are done, now I will go with remove material features.
So I'll start with this feature and for this I'll go to revolve onto the front datum plane, normal. I'll draw a datum center line. Now here you can use clip model for better visualization. Now start with a small line starting from here, this side, come down, then go taper like this, then again come down and then go taper like this. Close it. Now this is dia 8. And this is dia 3. This angle is 60 degree. And this is dia 16. Then you have one value from here till this end. This is 9. So sketch is done. Now say OK. Say OK. Now, I will first create one section view. So, go to the view, section, planar. Select the front datum plane, properties, make it section A and say OK. Now, the next feature, which is this portion. So, go to model, sweep, once again select the same sketch. Then go for sketch, draw the circle and this is dia 32, say ok. Go for remove material and say ok. Now you can simply hide the sketch. Now the next feature which is coming somewhere here and for that go to extrude, select this face, normal. Now draw the circle, this is M39, so make it 39, say ok. Flip the direction. Now this depth is 8, go for remove material and flip the material direction, say ok. Similarly, we have a cutout onto this surface, so go to the extrude and select this surface, normal. Then reference, select this surface and then draw circle somewhere here. Now this circle is radius 4. So add the radius dimension which is 4 and say ok. Go for remove material and make it to next. Say so, okay. Now this feature is creating problem here. So to resolve it, just go to sketch and add one more circle like this and then say ok.
and say OK. So all the remove material features are also done. Now the next feature is these holes. So I'll start with this hole. So I'll simply go to hole and then I'll go with flying datum axis. I'll select this surface. I'll say OK. Back, hold the control key and select this top surface. Now the dia of the hole is 12.5. And the depth is to next. Say OK. Now mirror this hole using this datum plane. Say OK. Similarly, you have four holes all around this. This is the details. So go to hole, simply select this surface. Now this is M4. So go to standard for standard hole, ISO and from here you select M4. So I will go with this option. Now switch on all the datums, drag this handle to this center axis, then go to the placement and change it to diameter. Now you have piece circle dia 76. So make it 76. Now this drag handle you drag and attach to this datum plane. This angle you make it 0. Now go to shape. Now this value I will consider as 8. And this one I will consider as 8.5 and I will say OK. Now pattern this hole, go to axis pattern, select the center axis, 4 items all around 360 degree and say OK. Now the next hole is this one and for this once again go to hole. Select this face, hold the control key and select the center axis. Now the dia of the hole is 6, so make it 6 and depth you make it through all and say OK. Similarly one more time hole, this time you select this center axis, hold the control key and select the surface. Now this is M6, so go to the standard hole. And from here you select M6. Depth you make it 2 next and say OK. Now we have two more holes which is coming somewhere here. So first I will create this hole and for this go to hole. Once again go to flying datum axis. Select this surface, say OK, back, hold the control key and select this surface. So I am selecting this surface because they have given the depth 26 from that surface. Otherwise, you can simply select this inner surface. So, this value is 26. Go to section view. Once again modify this hole, now inside the simple you select standard. Now if you see here this is G1 by 8, 
so for this we'll go back to the pdf now from here you will get value for g1 by 8 so measure dia is 9.728 and the minor dia is 8.566 so we will create hole using this value and then we'll create thread using this value so 8.566 and 9.728 so this is 8.566 say okay and then immediately go for cosmetic thread select this surface and starting surface will be this one another thread dia which is the measure dia so this is 9.728 and say okay so you can clearly see here this is your minor dia and this is your major dia similarly this thread and for this it is g1 by 16 so go back to the pdf g1 by 16 so measure dia is 7.723 and minor dia is 6.561 so go to the hole and once again create a flying datum axis select this surface say ok go back hold the control key and select this surface now to create a hole like this simply go to sketch sketcher now first you draw a vertical datum center line like this and then draw one line this is 6.561 the minor dia then add the line come down like this then go taper then again come down then close like this now this value is 7 this angle is 60 degree this is dia 3 then from here till here this is 70 and say ok you are getting the hole say ok Now for this add a cosmetic thread so go to engineering cosmetic thread select this surface starting surface is this one now the major dia for this is 7.723 so make it 7.723 and say okay Similarly, for this feature, you have a standard thread G3 by 4, measure dia is this one. So, G3 by 4, minor dia 24.117. So, go to engineering, cosmetic thread, select this surface. Starting surface is this one. Now this dia is 24.117 and say ok. So all the holes are created. Now the rounds are left. So we will create round one by one. But before that first I will create one more section view.
दिस इज माई सेक्शन बी ओके सो इफ आई गो फॉर द लेफ्ट व्यू दिस इज माई सेक्शन व्यू लेट्स एड ऑल द राउंड सो फर्स्ट राउंड विच इज कमिंग हियर दिस इज फोर एंड द सेम राउंड इज कमिंग ओवर हियर से ओके नाउ लेट्स एड ऑल द राउंड इन दिस पोर्सन सो देर इज अ राउंड आर टेन इन आउटर वन so the thickness is 6 so inner one will be radius 4 so i'll simply modify this round i'll go to edit hold the control key and select this edge also because this is also radius 4 and i'll say okay Now the next round is this one, which is radius ten. Then we have a round somewhere here. This is radius two. Hold the control key and select this side also. Say okay. Then you have one more round, which is coming here. This is radius three. Say so, okay. Then the next round to this edge, hold the control key and select this edge. This is radius four. Say so, okay. now you have one more round r5 coming somewhere here so go to the round select this edge hold the control key select this edge this is 5 say okay then one more round which is coming here This is radius one. Hold the control key. Select this edge, this edge, this edge. Then this edge and this edge. Say okay. One more time. Here and here. Say okay. then add one more round which is coming here this is radius 4 then same round here so okay then add round somewhere here this is radius 1 here and here now you just activate section a go to front view and your part is done Now the only feature left is one chamfer, which is coming onto this edge. This is also one. Say okay. Now go to the front view. And the part is done. 
So this was the carburetor body in cryoparametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.